For our client, the Raleigh-Durham Airport Authority, Archer Western is the general contractor for the Raleigh-Durham International Airport's Terminal C extension and renovation. The RDU Terminal C project is just under a million square foot terminal and concourse facility featuring 32 aircraft gates. Uh, the project triples the size of the original Terminal C project. The new terminal will have 32 boarding gates and will have two wider and longer concourses with moving walkways and state-of-the-art baggage handling that will accommodate 12 million passengers a year. We have a processor building where you process either the baggage or the people through security. It will feature an expanded federal inspection facility to process more international flights. Contemporary ticket islands and plentiful electronic signage will guide passengers through ticketing, security, gates, and baggage claim. The original Terminal C contract that Archer Western held with the Raleigh-Durham Airport Authority was for the terminal building and the north concourse. It also had a provision in it that they would have the opportunity to negotiate the expansion of the south concourse if they so chose. Approximately six months ago, we negotiated that contract and was awarded the south concourse that took the project from a $270 million project to the $370 million project we have now. The first phase consists of the demolition of the north half of the terminal concourse and the construction of a new terminal and concourse in that footprint area. The owner will then move from the remaining existing facility into the new terminal and north concourse. In the second phase of the project, the remaining portion of the existing terminal and the south concourse will be demolished, and the new terminal and south concourse will be completed. The substantial completion date is June of 2008 for the first phase. The second phase, the substantial completion date, is the end of 2010. We're approximately 32% complete at this point. The new Terminal C has a number of unique features, including the international procurement of building materials. The purchase of those materials came from five different countries. The glue laminated beams are manufactured in British Columbia, Canada. The structural steel is American raw material transported to just outside of Montreal and fabricated in Canada and then shipped to the project. The concave convex curved roof design uses stainless steel standing seam roof panels that are continuous from the front of the building to the rear. At its longest point, the terminal roof is 400 feet long. This is the largest glue lamp project in the United States. The Birchie connections has also never been used on a large commercial project, so this is the first time that, that that joint's ever been used before. So much so that during the original design and shop drawing stages of this project, we had a sample member of the trusses and these Birchie connections made and tested in the structural lab at North Carolina State University to ensure that those connections and the members associated would withstand the loads of the building. The samples were tested to failure, not just to see if they could hold the load of the original design, and the results yielded over three times the designed load. And so we had to build special tables in the horizontal position and lift them to the vertical position. And to get three different types of material all put together into the geometry needed was a pretty good task. And it took a lot of players and we worked real hard at it. In order to ensure success, we employed the services of a peer review engineer to review the erection plan to make sure that we didn't miss any item. The Terminal C project was originally designed by the architect to have a standard stick-built curtain wall system. During the VE process for the owner, uh, we were able to value engineer that to a unitized curtain wall system and save the, the owner a considerable amount of money. Changing a design that is originally made for a stick-built system uh, was also another challenge that we, we had because the design for a stick-built system is considerably different for a unitized system that the panels then hang from the, from the structure instead of the dead load from the slabs uh, as a stick-built system would. As it is with all Walsh Group projects, safety has been a top priority during the Terminal C construction. 
we have gone nearly a year and a half without a lost time injury on the project. To emphasize the importance of safety as job one, we held a safety fair in August 2007. The Walsh Group is committed to safety. Uh, in my mind, safety means no one gets hurt, everyone goes home at the end of the day, safe to their families, and that is the number one goal that we have in the company. We have also worked closely with the Department of Labor and OSHA to address safety issues. Some of these issues include the lifting of the large trusses and enforcing proper procedures so that the trusses are set safely. The project currently is approximately 35% complete. The Raleigh-Durham International Airport's Terminal C extension and renovation is an extremely preeminent project, not only in North Carolina, but also in the aviation industry at large. It is the largest airport project the Walsh Group has ever undertaken, and it will take us to a new level in the airport construction market. It's a project that we're very proud to be a part of, and it's afforded us the opportunity to once again work with an excellent client, furthering our great working relationship with them. It's an outstanding project. The design is, is one of a kind. Um, I, along with the rest of the Archer Western team, are extremely proud to be working on the project. Uh, all of our neighbors, our friends, our family will eventually see this as they fly out and travel. It's the largest project I've worked on. It's architecturally, I think, one of the best looking projects I've worked on. We've made many strides here in safety. We've made many strides here in how we do work as a company. And uh, I look forward to this project going into the uh, Annals of Walsh Group is one of the best projects we've ever done.